Welcome everybody, my name is Chef Justin Thompson. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to take ribeye steak from good to gourmet. For the good, we're gonna take ribeye steak, hand sear it in a cast iron skillet, serve it with some broccolini and some roasted butternut squash. And then for the gourmet version, we're gonna do a reverse sear on the steak. We're gonna pair that with broccolini pesto and some root vegetable ribbons. Let's get started. All right, first things first, let's set our oven to 450 degrees convection. I want that air going around because I want to brown up this good butternut squash while it's in there. And we're gonna start by cutting off the top. We're gonna put this in our convection oven here for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna turn them halfway, to make sure they brown on all sides. The natural sugars in the butternut squash will brown on the outside. It'll look great. Let's put them in the oven. All right, here we go. We're gonna make some root vegetable ribbons and this is for our gourmet side. So this is pretty simple. We're just gonna peel stuff. We're gonna start with our butternut squash. Nice parsnip, the carrot now. Nice beautiful ribbons here, toss these together. Good to go, let's build our little sauce here. So I've got a pan, we're gonna throw in our butter, minced shallot, lemon zest, chili flake. So what we're trying to do here is just release some of those good flavors, some of those aromatics here. And it's gonna create this very simple pan sauce to saute our fruit vegetable ribbons in. And before anything browns, we wanna throw in our white wine. About now. So, we're going to let this simmer and reduce by about half. So you're gonna cook off that alcohol so you don't have that, that alcohol bite to it, but you're gonna get all the good flavor of that wine. When it's at about quarter reduced, you can throw in your root vegetable ribbons right now. The last few things I'm gonna add here, a little bit of kosher salt, pepper, and last thing, our thyme. So I added the thyme last because I definitely want to keep that fresh herb flavor. I don't want to cook that out too much. All right, I think this is looking good. I'm, I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our broccolini. So we need broccolini for both recipes, both the uh, good and the gourmet, and we're gonna start off by blanching them. We're gonna throw in a bunch of salt. We want it salty like the ocean, all right, because we're gonna be flavoring as we're cooking. The broccolini is not gonna take very long to cook at all. This is a very thin vegetable. So we want them to still have a little crunch. I like texture, I like bite. I like, you know, like them be a little al dente. We're gonna take this and immediately submerge it right into our ice water, okay? And that, again, is gonna stop that cooking process and make sure that we retain all that beautiful green color. So we'll set that aside. And now we're gonna talk about building our flavors to saute this broccolini. We've got a little bit of oil here, just a little bit, because I want my smoke point to be a little bit higher than just butter itself. The thing that I like the best about natural gas is that it is something you control very easily. I mean, you could lower raise the flame and it's an almost immediate response to what you're doing. I want to add some shallot. And once those shallots open up a little bit and release some of that good flavor, again, we're going to introduce that lemon zest again, just like we did earlier. We're going to throw in a little bit of spice here. And here we have our little sage ribbons. Nice earthy flavors to go with our earthy broccolini. We're gonna take some of our broccolini. We need some of that for the other recipe, remember? So we're only gonna do about half of it. Coat them all over and hit it with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And we're good to go. All right, let's jump in here and do our broccolini pesto. So this is for our gourmet recipe, all right? We're gonna throw everything in here. We're gonna blend it. It's gonna come out beautiful. We've got our broccolini, spinach, Parmesan cheese, walnuts. We need to introduce some oil to turn it into a pesto. Throw that into one of our saucepans, add a little bit of heavy cream, and make a sauce. Now it's time for the main event, those ribeyes. So let's get to it. So this is the highlight of the dish. So both these are gonna be finished the same way. The difference is, our gourmet one, we're gonna do a reverse here. What that means is we're gonna let it cook very slowly at a low temperature in the oven. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna season this steak right here. So we got salt all over, and then we got pepper. Now for the pepper. This bad boy is my favorite pepper meal. All right, I got this as a gift when I was 23 years old, and I'm telling you, it creates the perfect pepper grind for steaks. So the idea here is that we're going to sear on both sides, create that crust in a hot cast iron skillet. We're gonna flip it, and then we're gonna add in some butter, some rosemary, some thyme, and some garlic cloves. And we're just gonna baste our steak for a couple minutes. And there we have our good ribeye. 
This is the same method that we're gonna do with our gourmet steak. All right, so here we go. Two different dishes, one good, one gourmet. I know which one it is, but I'm gonna ask someone in here to give me his opinion. Good buddy of mine, Ken Busby. You wanna come join me over here? Thanks. So, oh, yeah. hey, great, good, good to see you. Thanks for being you, here, I really appreciate you've that. You've been working. I, I, you've been cooking, A man. little bit of cooking. Just a little bit of cooking. Just a little bit. Yeah. So one of these is good, one of these is gourmet. It's your turn oh, to choose. Geez. What do you think? Give me some taste, give okay. a taste on one, and tell me what you think, what, okay. what you're experiencing. Then we'll taste the other one, see what you think there. All right. Only for I mean, you. Only for you would I do this. Have to twist your arm to eat my yeah. food? Right. No, not really. Not really. Mm. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Really buttery. Yeah. Good. Mm. <laughs> that pesto is awesome. Well, thanks. Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very well, cool. I'll try the other one. See what. See what you think, and then you tell me which All one's right. good, which one's gourmet. I mean. Okay. Okay. Or are they? Are they just both gourmet? <laughs> Is, is this a trick? Is, are they both gourmet? Is that what it is? Ha ha, Ken, one, we one has, you. One has been defined as good and one has mm. been defined as gourmet, so. Okay, they're both excellent. Thank you. This is your gourmet. This is like the, re the reverse sear uh, yeah. of what I would call it. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. So this one I did this uh, I did this straight sear at a, at a cast iron skillet, okay. still with butter and herbs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's why you get such a, a more buttery flavor with this one. Yeah. Slow cooking it in the oven, bring mm -hmm. it up to a medium rare and then hit it with a sear with some butter in a pan. Like that's how you get that super buttery, good texture mm -hmm. right there. Just that mm -hmm. slow cooking process. So I'm hungry. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna dig into it. Oh, so please, we, you know, we? enjoy. Yeah, super. Let's, let's do this. 